Welcome back everyone to another Downward Day. And today we have a bit of a peculiar topic here on the channel. So if you tuned into the last video, you'll know that I talked about the compound last name doomsday scenario. A scenario which some may choose to describe as a conspiracy theory. So I figure, hey, keeping with the conspiracy theme of the week, let's talk about another conspiracy theory. Now, this is based on my own personal research here and personal experiences. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of compelling logic behind this one. So I, of course, am sitting here in the CVS parking lot. That's right, the CVS Pharmacy and Convenience Store. A logo, a brand, a chain which pretty much everyone in America is well aware of. I hesitate to think of a single person in this country who hasn't been inside a CVS at one point or another. But while many are quick to define CVS as a convenience store, I for one have found quite a bit of inconvenience when it comes to this establishment. And this inconvenience is driven from a rather peculiar series of events that I've had happen to me. Seemingly many times I walk into a CVS and that inconvenience sort of stems from this pretty odd repeating event that tends to happen to me often whenever I walk into a CVS. Because I've noticed, and this has been true ever since I was a kid, oftentimes when I walk into the automatic doors of the CVS pharmacy, I am suddenly met with this inexplicable urge to poop. For some reason, me entering the sacred boundary of a CVS pharmacy. It causes me to have to poop. And I used to write it off. I used to say, oh, it's just a coincidence, you know. There are probably many other variables at play here that can explain away the situation, you know. Usually you stop by a CVS as part of a longer road trip or commute. So I guess it makes sense that you've been sitting in a car for a while, so statistically, you're probably gonna be more likely to have a bowel evacuation at the next store you stop at. And sure, that may make a bit of sense when you think about it for no more than two seconds. But after a while, you start to consider that on a long road trip or commute, you tend to stop at a lot of places. Gas stations, grocery stores, fast food restaurants. Very few of them cause me with the inexplicable urge to evacuate my bowels that CVS does. And while I don't have the actual statistics, the uh, fact of the matter is that the frequency at which I go to CVS and suddenly inexplicably have to poop is so much more than any other business, any other roadside stop, anything like that. If I had to estimate, I'd say over 50% of the time, a majority of the time, I walk into a CVS, I suddenly have to poop. And it doesn't matter which CVS it is. It can be at home, it can be when I'm 5,000 miles away from home. Whenever I step into that gray and tan building with the red and white logo, all of a sudden, I feel the sudden urge to take a massive dump. But I mean, come on, surely there's some sort of reasonable explanation for this, right? It, maybe there's some sort of latent childhood memory of taking a really satisfying dump at CVS or something like that, where suddenly upon seeing the aisles of crappy convenience store products, unhealthy snacks, and drugs under the dim fluorescent lighting, maybe that triggers some kind of mechanism in my brain that sends a message down to my colon telling me, oh, time to, uh, time to unload the goods. But you know, if something that subliminal were true, then how come I haven't had a similar experience at Walgreens, which for those not from the United States, we have two major national chain pharmacy stores here, CVS and Walgreens. They're almost like identical clones of each other. If you took an average person and dropped them in the middle of a CVS or a Walgreens without looking at any of the logos or branding, they probably couldn't be able to tell which store they were actually in. But yes, over the random occurrences of chance in my life, I estimate I've probably been in Walgreens an equal number of times as CVS, another national pharmacy chain with another red and white logo. 
And yet, whenever I walk into Walgreens, I have no problem, no problem whatsoever. I can just walk in and out without ever having to pay a forced visit to the restroom. So what exactly is going on here? What is it about CVS Pharmacy that makes me have to poop so much? There has to be, I mean, come on guys. I can't be the only one here, right? I can't be the only one who eight times out of 10, when you walk into that CVS building, that you suddenly have the inexplicable urge to take a dump. I keep trying to run through the logical explanations as to why this keeps happening to me. But after a while, none of them end up making any sense. It's not because I have to poop often when I'm out and about because I truly don't. It's a rather infrequent occurrence at places other than CPS. It's not because the act of driving or being on a commute makes me more likely to poop. It doesn't have to do with entering a gas station or convenience store or fast food restaurant. It doesn't even have to do with entering a pharmacy with red and white branding. It all just seems to come back to CVS. CVS makes me have to poop. This is an association that's been burned in my brain where now I often hesitate to go to CVS because I suddenly don't want to be forced into a situation where I have to take a massive dump. And yeah, you can chalk it up to a coincidence, but after a while, it just keeps happening and happening. And I'm left with fewer and fewer explanations as to why that's the case. Time after time after time, I find myself in the CVS pharmacy, and what do you know? I have to drop a massive deuce. After a while, it just becomes like, oh, what do you know? Here we go again. Can't possibly imagine that this very situation is repeating itself again, like I'm Bill Murray in Groundhog Day. Or I guess in this case, it's more like Brown Log Day. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the Downward Diary viewer base, I've had no choice but to divulge what I think is really happening here at the CVS pharmacies across the nation. Oh, how sinister it is. CVS and Walgreens, which one is the evil twin? I think I found out which, because my theory, my conspiracy theory that will eventually be vindicated and proven to everyone, is that CVS Pharmacy is spraying laxative, aerosolized laxative, inside the walls of their pharmacy locations. What? No, Emp, that's ridiculous. Why would a company put laxatives in the air? Wouldn't that cause a bunch of unnecessary maintenance costs for them to clean up the toilet? Maybe so, but I suspect that cost is more than made up for by luring people all the way to the back of the store so they have to walk past all the cheap merchandise, toys, and junk food and mull it over and think, oh, you know what, maybe I will buy something from the store. Sure, you could be going to CVS for a routine pickup. You may not even be planning to spend any money that day at the CVS. Oh, I just want to pick up my prescription. Oh, I just want to get a stick of gum from the front checkout line. Oh, I just need a bottle of water because I forgot to pack mine and I'm thirsty. Oh, no, no, no. All of a sudden, you're going to feel a little bit of rumbling in your colon region. And you're going to be headed straight to the back of the store, walking past all of the delectable and desirable merchandise that they stock the shelves with in the convenience store part of the store. Oh, and guess which kind of store, which kind of store would have the perfect access to laxatives, the perfect access to experimental laxative products that they can spray in the air and force their customers to ingest. Oh, what do you know? A pharmacy, a pharmacy which literally sells Exlax and Docolax right there on one of the many aisles jubbed in between the junk food and the crappy plastic toys from China. They probably have a machine hidden right there in the back, just out of view, for all those sinister pharmacist employees in the white lab coats and the black brim glasses to dump a container of Exlax into and form the perfect aerosolized laxative product. Just in time for the unsuspecting customer to ingest and all of a sudden, coincidentally, have to use the toilet and walk all the way to the back of the store, past all the gimmick products that this business is trying to unload on the average hardworking American worker. You see, much like how movie theaters don't make their money from movies, CVS does not make their money from selling 
pharmaceutical drugs that keep people addicted to drugs. No, all that profit gets funneled up the chain to the CEOs of the big pharmaceutical companies. And much like how movie theaters have to subsist on making money from concession sales, CVS has to simultaneously make most of their profit off of selling overpriced food, candy, toys, and all sorts of other plastic crap that you wouldn't be caught lucky finding in a cheapo gift shop in a tourist trap area. That's how CVS really makes their money. You could buy a hundred drugs, a hundred different prescription drugs from CVS and they would make nowhere near enough money compared to you buying a couple bags of chips or a can of soda. That is where the real margins for CVS come in. And that's why they find it necessary to grind up those laxatives, those worthless laxatives that they don't even make any money off of anyway. They grind it up into a fine mist and release that mist all over the interior of the store. So the second, the second you walk in, it's fast acting, potent, odorless, colorless material. The unsuspecting dope customer walks into the store, maybe to check out one thing and boy, that's enough. That's all the time they need for the effects of the laxative spray to cycle throughout your bloodstream and finally trigger a mass bowel evacuation. They mix it in with the generic convenience store air freshener so that you're none the wiser, so that you can't even tell what is entering your body every time you walk into the CVS. But as you can probably guess, you will sure as hell know very soon what is exiting your body. But EMP, you may be asking, if CVS is really unleashing aerosolized laxatives into the open air of all their stores, wouldn't the employees be constantly having to take a dump as well? Well, that's a compelling counterpoint, but there's a simple explanation for that as well. Because just as how CVS doles out drugs, pills, laxatives, and whatever other elixirs and apothecary products you may be needing in a pinch, they also have the ability to deal out a certain other kind of medical product. That's right, every winter season and every mass pandemic outbreak, what do you see at the CVS pharmacy? Vaccines, all sorts of little injectable cures to whatever may be ailing you for the moment. CVS is very much a main terminal for vaccine distribution here in the United States. So what's stopping them? What exactly is stopping them from creating a super secret top secret vaccine that's immunizing their employees from the laxative. The CVS proprietary laxative mix, they designed the formula so they'll know, they'll know exactly how to stop it. So they have a secret vaccine. You can ask CVS, ex-CVS employees, they have to sign NDAs, they will never admit it to you, but it's true. They have the secret anti-laxative vaccine that they inject in themselves once every 30 days or so. And that, my friends, is precisely how the CVS employees can stand there for 10 hour shifts and not even once think about having to use the restroom. Whereas I walk in there for one minute and all of a sudden I feel like I just ate 17 bowls of Chipotle. Like surely I can't be the only one who experiences this, right? It's not a coincidence. They are spraying laxatives all over the air to force you to walk to the back of the store, drop a massive log in their toilet, and then come out and all of a sudden have a new urge to buy some stupid, cheap plastic products. This is the CVS business model. It's incredibly sad that a business in America has had to stoop to this just to make a few extra bucks, to extract a few extra dollars out of their unsuspecting innocent customers. And that is precisely why I've had to sit here in my car in the 85 degree weather sweating my ass off because I can't afford to open these doors and let even a slight amount of the CVS laxative infested air possibly penetrate me and my safe quarantine zone. Because the second that laxative laced air from the inside of the CVS front doors right around that corner over there, the second they touch my nostrils. It will trigger the reaction that has afflicted me dozens of times already in my life, and I will be forced to go in there, blow up their toilet, and struggle with my willpower to not buy a stupid, unhealthy snack on the way out. 
that further contributes to more ammunition in the chamber that they can exploit out of me. I won't let it happen. I may have to start going to Walgreens only from now on. Oh, CVS, a helpful place, a helpful medical place. Our logo is a heart because we love you. We care about you so much. Here at CVS, we love giving you laxatives against your consent, violating numerous international laws about chemical warfare. That's what we love doing at CVS. And we commemorate that by making our company logo a heart when the whole time I know it's not a heart I'm looking at. It's a prolapsed anus from all the forced bowel evacuations that your company is forcing on the American public. And I'm not going to sit here and stand by while all these innocent people you've seen walking to the store are suddenly going to be met with a nasty surprise in just a few minutes. We need to come together and stand up to the evil corporate overlords at CVS who feel like it's okay to oppress us, the innocent customer, and to oppress more and more feces out of my rectum. We need to return our right of choice back to our own bowel movements and say no, no more to forced involuntary colon spasms. CVS and the pharmaceutical industry will try to silence me for making this video. They will put me on the super duper ultra laxative extreme and keep me on the toilet 24 seven so I'll no longer have time to record any sort of videos warning you people, warning you people about the truth, the truth of how CVS is poisoning America with forced laxative ingestion. Maybe if you're just really constipated for the day, this is the place for you. But for the rest of us, I don't feel comfortable with having my bowels forcibly pumped out and emptied out every time I walk into one of these stores. I'm not gonna stand for it any longer, and neither should you. Hey guys, it's 20 minutes after recording the video and apparently my quarantine space was not enough. They got me again. I have to poop. CVS got me again, and now I have to poop. And I left, and I can't even blow up their toilet and get revenge. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. They can't keep getting away with this.